Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's battle mode is considered by many to be the best in the series. You have 8 different arenas, 5 different modes, and even an exclusive item, that being the feather. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's battle mode was a breath of fresh air coming out of the lazy excuse for a battle mode in Mario Kart 8. Without further ado, let's get into your guide to battle mode in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Let's go! In Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Battle Mode, there are three different ways to play single player battle, those being the standard offline mode, worldwide slash regional battles, and tournament battles. Some good battle mode tournaments that I recommend are the NOA Battlethon, the Nintendo Battle Cup, and the Cops and Robbers Cup. In battle mode, you're going to be getting items hurled at you left and right. So, you want to choose a vehicle combo with a small hitbox. I would go for a lightweight character and a slim bike. I also recommend using smart steering so that when you hit a wall, you can bounce off of it really quick. Now that you've picked your way to play and your vehicle customizations, you're ready to pick your game mode. If you're playing online, then most of the time the mode is randomly decided. The five battle modes are as followed. Balloon Battle, Renegade Roundup, bob -omb Blast, Coin Runners, and Shine Thief. Balloon Battle is all about trying to steal people's balloons by hitting them. Renegade Roundup is divided into two teams, the Law and the Renegades. If you're the Law, then you have to try to catch as many Renegades as possible, and watch out for other Renegades trying to free their teammates from jail. Being a renegade is just outrunning the law and freeing your teammates. bob -omb Blast is literally just balloon battle but with bob -omb's only. Coin Runners is a mode where you try to collect as many coins as possible and steal other coins by hitting other people with items. And finally, Shine Thief is where one person has a giant shine and their speed gets reduced so other people have to knock the shine off of you by hitting you with items. After holding the shine for long enough, you win the match. Of course, all of this can be spiced up by changing the teams, items, round time, computer, and computer vehicles. There are 8 battle arenas in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, 5 brand new ones and 3 returning retros. The tracks are all different and I will describe them. Battle Stadium is your typical battle arena, designed like Mario Kart Stadium, with anti-gravity sections, trickable places, and some off-road. Sweet Sweet Kingdom is a track modeled after Sweet Sweet Canyon, and it's full of sugary terrain. Dragon Palace is designed after Dragon Driftway, with a Chinese temple-like place, a courtyard, and two stairways that lead into a palace. Lunar Colony is a Rainbow Road wannabe, with its own gravity style an actual lunar colony, and little spots in the ground that I assume are asteroids. Urchin Underpass is a Splatoon-styled arena with paint stains all over the floor and a street-style setting. SNES Battle Course 1 is your standard boring retro arena, nothing else to be said. GCN Luigi's Mansion is a trip inside of Luigi's Mansion from the GameCube, complete with ghosts, creepy staircases, and a rainy rooftop. And finally, 3DS Woohoo Town is modeled after the Woohoo Loop track from Mario Kart 7, while also giving references to Wii Sports Resort. The Feather is a battle mode exclusive item that was previously only in Super Mario Kart. The Feather allows you to hop over other players to steal their balloons. For my last tip, I have the quick turnaround. There is a quick turnaround method in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that is mainly used in battle mode. To perform this trick, simply hold a direction while also holding both A and B at the same time. Well, that's it for this tutorial video. I really hope you enjoyed and benefited off of this. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.